Hi, I'm Jordan, the classroom president. Welcome to the fifth grade wax museum. Hi, I'm Pocahontas. I was born in 1595. I was daughter of Chief Pohan. I had 26 brothers and sisters. British Connors and Virginia territories where my tribe lived. In 1607, we ambushed them. We were about to execute their leader, John Smith, by begging my father to spare his life and work with the Connors peacefully. But eventually there were more problems with the Connors and I was taken prisoner. In 1614, I married John Ralph and converted to Christianity. I also changed my name to Rebecca. In 1615, I had a kid named Thomas Ralph. In 1617, I died of an unknown disease. Bonjour. I am Antoine Lemet de Lamas de Cadillac. I am a French explorer, fur trader, and trapper of New France, which covers Eastern Canada to Louisiana. I was a commander in Fort in St. Ignace, Michigan, and in 1701, I founded my first, first, I founded Fort Pontchartrain of Detroit. Detroit means straits. After the river next to the, after the river next to the city, the, the Cadillac Auto Company gave me credit by using my name for their logo and used my moral bearings for their, for their Cadillac logo in 1902. Hi, I'm Betsy Ross. I'm the first person to make the American flag, and that was in June of 1776. Why I made the flag was because George Washington came up to my door and asked if I could make the first American flag. He gave me a sketch, and I made it in my back parlor. I was born 1752 and died 1836. I died at the age 84. Both of my parents died from yellow fever. I got married three times. I had seven kids, and I had 16 siblings. Hello, I'm Betsy Ross. I'm a seamstress, uh, seamstress and maker of the American flag. I, I was um, a widow twice. I lost two husbands in the Revolutionary War. I, I, I had one daughter, and uh, I had one daughter. We, uh, we were, I had a sewing business. I, to make the American flag, I was chosen by General George Washington. Hi, I'm Claire Bryant. I was born December 25th, 1821 in the town of Oxford, Massachusetts. I succeeded in shovel fields. A teacher at the young age of 17, a battlefield nurse, and a finder of missing soldiers. But at the age of 59, with many volunteers, I established an American Association of Red Cross to help Americans in time of need. Hi, my name is Abraham Lincoln. I was born February 12, 1809. I was the 16th President of the United States of America. I am most famous for leading my country during the Civil War. My leadership in the North helped the country remain strong and defeat the South, keeping the country united. In 1863, I issued the Emancipation Proclamation. This was an act or order that freed the slaves in the Confederate States. I was shot by John Wilkes Booth while attending a play at the Ford Theater. I died later the next day. Keep it, I died later the next day on April 15th, 1865. Go. My name is Abraham Lincoln. I was born I was born on February 12th, 1809. As you know, I was responsible for the Emancipation Proclamation, which freed all the slaves. And I was the 16th president. By the way, I was assassinated by John Wilkes Booth in the Ford Theater while I was watching a show. This happened in, this happened in April 14, 1865. As you know, my face is on the penny and the $5 bill. Thank you. Hi, I'm Orville Wright, one of the Wright brothers. My brother Wilbur and I were inventors. We invented the plane and the bicycle. Our first successful flight was at Kitty Hawk, North Carolina on December 17, 1903. Our first flyer was called the Wright Flyer, built in 1903. We were two of seven children. I died January 30, 1948, at the age of 76. I'd like to leave you with one of my famous quotes. If birds can glide for long periods of time, then why can't I? Hi, my name is Wilbur Wright. 
I was born on April 16th of 1867 and died May 30th of 1912. Me and my brother Orville were famous inventors of the first sustained, controlled, powered air flight. Our first flight was at Kitty Hawk on December 17th of 1903. We also flew 120 feet in 12 seconds. Because of that flight, me and him, his nickname were named the Man Flyers. Hi, I'm Wilbur Wright. Hi, I'm Wilbur Wright. And we are the Wright Brothers. I was born on April 16th, 1867. I, I was born on August 19th, 1871. We are inventors and we are best known for inventing the first successful airplane. Our first controlled power flight was on December 17th, 1903. Before inventing the airplane, we worked with printing presses, bicycles, motors, and other machines. Believe it or not, we never graduated from high school. I never had wives either. We were too busy working on planes. I died on January 30th, 1948, at the age of 76. I died on May 30th, 1912, at the age of 45. Then The next time you're on a plane, I hope you think of us. Hello, what are you doing in my office? Anyways, my name is John Fitzgerald Kennedy. I was born May 29th in 1917. After I, I was in the House of Representatives and the Senate. After my presidential abilities, I, I became President of the United States. I faced many foreign crises, such as the Cuban crisis and the Berlin crisis. Before I was destroyed, my, I was with my wife, Governor Connolly, and James Tagg. I was with my... My wife was covered with my blood. When she was ad addressed to change her clothing because it was so filthy with all of my blood, she wouldn't change. My killer was a man um, who wouldn't face up to his crimes. After I tried, no, after a um, couple of days, a man came out of nowhere during a news report with him inside the news report. He got shot. Then the man who shot him was forced to be in a, in a chair of death, which is one of those shocking chairs. But before he died, but before he went into the shocking chair, he died of cancer. Hello, my name is Henry Ford. I was born in 1863. July 30th in Greenfield Township, Michigan. My parents' names were William Ford and Mary Ford, and they were farmers. In 1876, my mom died, and my dad wanted me to take over the farm, but I did not want that. Eventually, after many jobs and companies, I formed the Ford, the Ford Motor Company in 1903. I wanted to build a quality car for a good price. In 1908, the Model T was introduced for $825. It was very popular. In 1913, I developed a moving assembly line to help make the cars quicker for people to buy. Hi, I'm Amelia Earhart. I was born on July 24, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas. On February 7th, 1931, I married George Putnam. I wrote many, I wrote, I wrote essays, newspaper articles, magazine articles, and I wrote two books. On, in October 1937, I set a women's altitude record of 14,000 feet, but that was later broken by Ruth Nicholas. On June 2nd, 1937, my navigator Fred Noonan and I departed from Miami, Florida, bound for California by traveling around the world. Then, on July 2nd, we departed from Leigh, New Guinea, and were set to a course of Howland Island, but we were 35 to 100 miles off course, so our plane went down. An expensive search was conducted at the cost of $4 million. But then, on July 18th, the search was abandoned by ships at the harbor of Howland Island, and my plane was never found again. 
Hi, I'm Amelia A. Hart. I, when I was a kid, my friends called me Millie. I was born on July 24, 1897 in Atchison, Kansas. I left Columbia University after just one semester and joined my parents, Edwin and Amy Otis A. Hart, in Los Angeles, California. That's where I took my first flying lesson with Frank Hawks. I also sent many flying records in my lifetime. In March 1937, I made my first attempt to go around the world, but I barely damaged my plane by doing ground lines. In June 1937, I tried again, but I disappeared on July 2nd, 1937. No one knows what happened to me or how it happened. Hi, I'm Theodore Roosevelt. I have two sisters and a brother. I have had two wives and six children. I admire reading. When I was done, my favorite books were more, more Morgan's Rifleman and Soldiers of the Valley Forge. In 1872, my father bought me my first gun and first fair spe spectacle. I went to Harvard College and later I possessed a photographic memory. After that, I was popularly elected vice president and in 1990, I became t 26th president of the United States. I was president for eight years. Soon, I, was, I died in 1919. I was then carved into Mount Rushmore. Hello, my name is John Davison Rockefeller. I was born July 8, 1839. When I was 16, I became an assistant bookkeeper. By the time I was... Uh, in 1863, I went into the oil refining business with my business partner. By the time I was 35, I bought most of the oil refineries in Cleveland. I was one of the largest oil refiners in the world. Later, I started making a pipeline system to move oil. 70% of the oil we refined was being sent overseas. I tried it at the age of 58. I was very generous and gave away about half of my money. I died May 23rd, 1937. My money told 26 million, or in today's dollars, 660 billion dollars. Hello, my name is John Davidson Rockefeller. I was born in 1839 into a family of six children. I got a lot of odd jobs when I was a child to help support my family. I founded Standard Oil in 1870, which I made billions of dollars off of by the time I retired at 57. I gave away millions of dollars in my retirement to many charities and schools. You can find out more about me in my chronology. I died in 1937. Hello, I'm George Washington Carver. I'm a scientist. Let me tell you about my life. I was born into slavery in Diamond, Missouri around 1864. I was owned by Moses and Susan Carver. I was known as a plant doctor when I was little. I, I didn't go to college until I was 30 years old. I, was, I went to Iowa State Agricultural College. I was asked to teach at Tuskegee Institute where I found 300 uses for peanuts and over 100 uses for sweet potatoes. I died January 5th, 1943. Hi, my name is Harlan David Sanders, but you might know me better as Colonel Sanders. I was the founder of KFC. I was born September 9th, 1890 and died December 16, 1980, at the age of 90. I started selling chicken at a roadside gas station during the 1930s. Uh, my special way to cook the chicken was 11 herbs and spices and a special way to cook the chicken. My finger licking good chicken has led KFC to the second largest fast food chain in the world behind McDonald's as of 2012. As you can see, I was an American icon and a successful businessman. Hi, I'm Jackie Robertson. I attended UCLA for my college. After college, I was invited to the military. Then to the military, I went to the big gun, the NLB. When I went to the NLB, I was discriminated. They called me names, but I always had a saying that helped me. I don't care if you like me or dislike me. The only thing I care is that you treat me as a human being. Afterwards in life, I died at age 53. Well, you, well excuse me, I have more, more home runs to hit.
Hello, my name is Eileen Collins. In February of 1995, I became the first woman to pilot a space shuttle when Discovery completed its eight-day mission. I made history, NASA history again in 1999 when I became the first woman to command a space, command a space shuttle. Prior to my retirement from NASA in 2000, 2005, I logged over 6,700 hours in over 30 different aircrafts. I was born November 19, 1956 in Elmira, New York. As a child, I had always showed an interest in being a pilot in a spacecraft. Whether your commander is man or woman, it doesn't really matter as, when, it, when it comes to getting your mission done. Hi, I'm Rosie Parks. I was born in February 4, 19... 1913, I rode the bus 2857 of Cleveland Avenue of Alabama. Um, I was told to give up. I was told to give up my seat for a white person. I refused. I got arrested, and I went to jail. I I died in October October 24, 2005. Hi. I'm Rosa Louise McCauley Parks. I was born February 4th, 1913 in Tuskegee, Alabama. I am called First Lady of Civil Rights and Mother of Freedom Movement. On December 1st, 1955, I was, I was arrested because I refused to give my seat up to a white passenger. Why? Because I was sick and tired of mistreatment. On October 24th, 2005, I died, but my legacy will still be here forever. I am Rosa Parks. Hi, my name is Rosa Parks. I was born February 4th, 1913. I was I was a African American woman who sat in the middle of the bus and I was arrested because John I did not follow John F. Blake's rules. So when everyone else when everyone else found out that um, I was arrested, the buses started to boycott. Hi, my name is May Carol Jennison. I was born October 17, 1956 in Alabama. I was the first African American to travel in space. I also premiered in the movie Star Trek. I, I grew up in Chicago, Illinois. I was inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. I graduated from Morgan Park High School in 1973. I worked for NASA and I resigned in 1993. Hi, my name is Steve Jobs, the co-founder of the Apple Company. I was born I was born on February 24th in San Francisco in 1955 and sadly died on October 5th of 2011 in Palo Alto. I created accessories like the iPhone, iPad, and iPod. And I also created the Macintosh computer. I made the first Macintosh in January of 1984. I was also a part of the Lisa project. Then I joined the Macintosh project. This is a picture of uh, the fir very first Apple Lisa, Apple Lisa number one. And this was also the very first Apple computer. This is a picture of the first Macintosh computer. Uh, the, this is a Macintosh computer we know and use today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Aloha, my name is Bethany Hamilton. I was born February 8, 1999 in Hawaii. At the age of 14, I was attacked by a 14-foot tiger shark, lost my arm and 60% of my blood. Since the attack, I've been motivated to do charity work. Make Wish, my own charity, with six other charities, and continue to serve. I have won several world championships and, and continue to inspire people. Uh, hi, I'm Barack Obama. I'm the 44th President of the United States. I was born in Hawaii on August 4th, 1961. After working my way through college with the help of scholarships and student loans, I moved to Chicago where I worked with a group of churches to help rebuild communities. I went on to attend law school where I became the first African American president of the Harvard Law Review. I was elected the, the 44th president of the 
United States on November 4, 2008 and sworn on January 20, 2009. My wife Michelle and I are proud parents of two daughters, Amelia is 14 and Shasha is 11.